Yo, what's up guys, it's Fairy Shotgun, and today I'll be teaching you how to green screen a video in DaVinci Resolve 18. So the first step you want to do is you want to drag your green screen clip onto the clip you want to be green screened. Go into the effects section, type in 3D keyer. This is a default Resolve FX key. You drag in 3D keyer onto your green screen. Then you want to go to the edit section. Click on the green screen. Then on the bottom left of your viewer, you'll see something called transform. Change that to Open FX Overlay. Then on the right side, you'll see the words Effects. Click on Effects, make sure you're on Open FX. Scroll down till you see Behavior Options, turn that to Soft. Go down till you see Matte Finesse, turn In Out Ratio to negative 100. Go back, switch this to your Dropper Plus, and tap anywhere that you see is green. You'll see immediately that it automatically turns into a green screen clip. But if you zoom in to the edges of your item, you can see that there's a line a border of green. To fix this, go down to D-Spill and Behavior Options and turn that to 1. Now you can see that the green turns to gray. This makes it look more natural. This green screen doesn't cover the entire background, so what we have to do is to crop out the edges. To do that, go to the crop function on the top. Then crop the video so you can only see the green screen. Now that we have cropped out the edges of the room and now that we can only see the green part of the background, we'll now use the transform area to change the position of our green screen to be at the corner. We also change the size to be smaller. Now back at the edit area, we'll drag in the 3D keyer onto our green screen and we'll do the exact same steps we did before. Turn this to soft, go to matte finesse, and turn in out ratio to negative 100. But one thing we will be doing differently is that we will go to usage options and deselect Smart Show Paths and Auto BW Highlight. We'll go back to the plus dropper and we'll drag across. For this little corner area, we'll drag as much as possible until we can see that our hair starts to disappear. Right there, we saw that our hair was starting to disappear, so we will leave this little area B and then we will turn on Despill to 1. We will go back to our cut area and then crop out the little part. Now that we have cropped out the little tiny corner, we can now look at our final product. As you can see, it is a good looking green screen. And that's it for today, folks. Subscribe!